In this video, I'm recreating one of the most important inventions for industrialization, the water wheel. With this device, you can harness the power of nature and flowing water and use it to power countless tools. Tools that before this, I would have to physically operate myself. So let's start saving some of my sweat and hours of labor and harness the power of nature. If it has been clear from my previous projects, manual labor is a lot of work. So finding a way to power tools that's not limited to my own endurance and strength is going to be a huge multiplier when it comes to getting things done. Just operating a handsaw gets very exhausting pretty quickly, but with a mill connected to a water wheel, even if it runs very slowly, it can just run continuously without ever getting tired. I've already built a few tools now with the intention of connecting it to an external power source like a water wheel and have a few more along the way just waiting to take advantage of this power source. The design of a water wheel comes in a lot of varieties, shapes, and forms. You could even argue that modern hydroelectric dams are a form of the modern water wheel. For how important this device is for my goals and the wide variety of devices I'm hoping to power with it, it's pretty likely I'm gonna have to build at least a few different versions of water wheels. So rather than kind of getting down into the very specifics of this, it seemed a lot easier to just start with a simple water wheel and kind of learn as I go. Test it out, see what is and isn't working, and how I can adjust it and make improvements to it from there. But this technically isn't even the first water wheel that I made. I actually started another project attempting to harness the power of animals by attempting to bring back the historical job of the turnstile dog. The wheel I built for that was hopefully going to be reusable as the first draft of the water wheel. Trying to harness the power of a dog is proven to be a little bit more challenging than I expected, and uh, I'm still working on that project, and that wheel is not available to be reused yet. So I looked at a few different options of wheels and found a really straightforward and simple one that had some nice features that made it a little bit easier to build. Most of the bottom of the buckets is also the paddle, allowing it to be one continuous piece and a little bit easier and fewer parts to assemble. When I look at other forms of water wheels, they often have a lot more paddles. So I think that's gonna be probably a really easy improvement to make is to add more. So with the design in mind, now I just need to cut up a bunch of wood Unfortunately, I have to do it by hand because I don't have a water wheel yet. In one of my previous videos, I made this pretty nifty machine for cutting wood and has a frame saw inside of some rails here with a spring on the top. So with a push of a lever, you push it down and it springs back up. So it makes a pretty powerful 12th century table saw that is uh, really useful for making straight cuts, making a little bit less work. However, this is really only set up for rip cuts and I have a lot of cross cuts I need to do because when you have to cut it with a board, you'll start to hit the side rails. So what you really need is a different type of frame saw on here. And for making rip cuts, you have the saw blade in the center, and then you cut along the length. For a cross cut, you need arrangement more like this, with a saw blade on one side, middle bar to hold it rigid, and then a tensioner rod here. So my thought is basically attach a saw like this to the frame running this way. So then we have the blade out here, we can extend our cutting platform, and then we can cut it sideways.
Thank you to today's sponsor. Have you ever wished for a convenient and delicious way to meet your nutritional goals? Factor makes meeting your nutritional goals easier than ever. Are you too busy to cook? With Factor, you can skip the grocery store, skip the chopping, prepping, and cleaning up. Fresh, never frozen meals are ready to eat in just two minutes. Heat and enjoy. Then get back outside and soak up the warm weather. At Factor, they offer flavor packed options on their menu each week to fit your variety of lifestyles from keto to calorie smart, vegan and veggie, and protein plus. Prepared by chefs and approved by dietitians, each meal has all the ingredients you need to feel satisfied all day long while meeting your goals. There's always something new to try. As someone who has personally experienced the benefits of Factor, I can confidently say it has transformed my routine. It offers a really quick meal when you're deep in a project and forget to eat and are tempted just to go out and buy something. Now you can have something healthy and refreshing within two minutes. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code HTME50 to get 50% off your first factor box. That's factor75.com, HTME50. Obviously the most challenging part was finding a body of water at high enough elevation and then find a way to pipe it all the way to my property using a series of bamboo tubes. Obviously that's what I did. Um, pay no attention to that high pitched whirling noise or any uh, suspicious tubing. It's very satisfying to finally get this project together. It's something that's been in my plans for several years now and it's 
definitely now the largest project I built. The actual engineering of it was a bit more challenging than I originally expected, trying to keep it all evenly constructed and jointed together and the matching between the two sides of the wheel took a bit more work than I initially planned. And even then I still had to seal a bunch of gaps in the wood for it to run pretty well. But now it's all together and I have my next major step towards my own industrial revolution. I tried connecting the water wheel to my saw using a simple crank and connecting rod but that didn't have too much luck. I think I really need to find a way to connect it at the top or the bottom of the actual saw, otherwise it pulls and binds in the frame. So the next challenge is gonna be all the gearing and such to effectively connect my tools to this power source. So with this tool, I'm now able to harness some of the powers of nature and use them for my own use. Unfortunately, sometimes when uh, you try to control nature, it fights back and uh, ran into the metal rod that's sticking out for the axle of the water mill more than once. That's, that's a really embarrassing part is that I did it once, kind of call it a day, picked it up the next day and proceeded to do the exact same thing and hit my head again and leave an even bigger scratch. That was fun. But like, as I said, I've been anticipating this project for a while. It feels like one of the major stepping stones for the industrial revolution is getting other sources of power and figuring out how to gear and utilize it like this. So very excited about this. Lots of new options opening up. Some of the next projects will be making improvements to the water wheel and getting it connected to different tools and start to use that power source. I do want to eventually, once it's all kind of figured out, bring it to an actual river source, generate actual power, hopefully actually build some sort of generator that connect to it with our wheel and then have an actual hydroelectric power plant. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping there's enough time before the end of the year to do a windmill as well as another source of power and maybe even possibly start getting into solar. So lots of possibilities opening up with this. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. We wouldn't have made it to this milestone without you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and check out other content we have covering a wide variety of topics. Also, if you've enjoyed these series, consider supporting us on Patreon. We are largely a fan-funded channel and depend on the support of our viewers in order to keep our series going. Thanks for watching.